This is a LexisNexis video tutorial using index terms. On the Power Search form in LexisNexis Academic, you'll notice a section called Add Index Terms. These terms are useful because they provide a controlled vocabulary to narrow your search. While this is great for all concepts, it's especially helpful when searching for something that could have multiple meanings or various names. I find this is especially true for companies, people, and geographic locations. Let's talk about geographic locations for a moment. We'll click on geography and the index will pop up. As you can see, you could browse the geographic directory by area or you could click on the find button to type in your search terms. I'm going to type in a country and a city that both have semi-recently changed their names. For example, USSR is now referred to as Russia. If you wanted to type in other synonyms for Russia, like Soviet Union, that would also come back as Russia. And we would just select that to add to our search. Another example I have would be Bombay, India, which recently changed its name to Mumbai. Since indexing is a concept in LexisNexis and not a word, these terms will apply to the geographic area before and after the date of the name change. If I wanted to end my search here, I could click the OK Add to Search button, but instead I'd like to add more index terms. Instead of reopening the index by coming over here and possibly clicking on another link, I can change the index by just using this drop down box right here. Now let's talk about people. The index will also help you find documents about people. With people, we don't so much have to worry about name changes, but more about multiple people with the same name, or more importantly, variations of different names. You don't want to miss out on an important article just because you searched on Albert Gore instead of Al Gore. Here you can add an index term that will catch all variations of his name. Select Al Gore. Now how about common names? Let's talk about Michael Jackson. I know Michael Jackson as a musician, as a football player in the mid-90s, and as a CEO of a large chain of car dealerships. Click the eye icon for more information to see which one of these you'd like to add to our search. For example, Mike Jackson. Mike Jackson targets the chairman and CEO of AutoNation. That's the particular one I want to search, so I'll select that. I also love using the index for company names. Again, we'll change the index just by using this drop-down box. There are many companies with names that can signify something other than the corporation. For example, Apple, The Gap, Target. If you simply type Target into a search box, you'd probably get a mix of articles about Target the company and articles simply containing the word Target, like Target demographics, Target revenue, hitting a Target. In other words, a lot of excess results for you to sort through. Instead, we can search through Target right in the index. and we'll select Target Corp. Of course the index works for subjects and industries too. It might even help you find concepts you weren't thinking of. I'll show you by using the subject index. We're searching Al Gore, so why don't we try to find something on global warming? See, global warming also suggests that you add climate change. So we can add both of those to our search. Now all the terms we've selected will be added to our search form as soon as we click OK Add to Search. And see them appear below the search box. So use the index the next time you search. You won't believe how much it will help your results set. By the way, if you need more information on indexing, Simply click this orange help icon next to the add index terms box. It will take you to our product wiki. Stay tuned for more videos from LexisNexis Academic.